Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Hope you're all well. Today's video is a H&M haul, which is the first one I've done, but I found a new found love, I guess, for H&M. I've bought quite a few wee bits from there lately, despite what RuPaul said on um, Drag Race UK. I don't want to see any fucking H&M. Let's just ignore that. So yeah, let's get to it. This is just a wee few of shade I'm putting this, I got my for my birthday. But it's so cute and it's disappointing, I can't really... I'm kind of waiting for spring because it's nice and big blue and stuff if we actually manage to get out of the house. But yeah, let's just get on that. I've got literally three different orders to go through so this may or may not take a while, who knows. But I'll do a wee try on and kind of like possibly what I'd wear with each if I've actually still got a brain left to decipher what I'd even wear left. Also this is my wee ring that Andy got me for Christmas, thank you. Very nice. So I'm gonna get nice, two nice rings on each hand. Woo! This is one my grand gave me. And this is one Andy got me. So, let's go on with it without me blooming. Honestly my brain is not even, I don't even think my brain's still here anymore. And if you hear traffic outside, it's just because I'm filming literally at the window. Oh, God. So, first thing up is this cardigan. I've honestly spent, not gonna, like the last like six months trying to find a half decent cardigan. In H&M I've always had like really nice ones, but they're always, they were always like sold out and stuff like that. And I was just like, I need a cardigan in my life just because they're just a nice, instead of wearing like a hoodie all the time, which I feel like, Honestly, my wardrobe, I must have about 300 hoodies. Well, obviously, exaggeration, but way too many hoodies. And I feel like a cardigan somebody just dressed it up a little bit. Um, and I know we're not really going anywhere, but it's still nice, and they're nice and cozy and a bit warmer than a hoodie sometimes. So, I got this one, which is looks fucking doesn't do it justice at all there, but we move. Um, it's got the little turtoise look kind of shell buttons, which uh, that was kind of one of the points I wanted was a cardigan with these little buttons because I think they're a bit nicer than just plain buttons. And yeah, I thought they were really cute. I'll do a price on that. I'm sure it was like 25 and then it was 25% off, or it was 17 and then 25% off. There was like two pretty similar ones. Lovely and the three buttons. Like I don't care if I look about a hundred in it, but just it's just nice and maybe tuck it. Love it. But it's even nice, like open. I think I'm just gonna off the shoulder. Cute. Yeah, this is a small, by the way, I'm pure kneeling down. Um, yeah, it's just a wee a size small, but it's so, it's not, and it's not that itchy. I you know a lot of cardigans have been like itchy and I, I just can't keep cardigans that are like that. Um, that's probably another reason why I take me so long to find one, but it's so soft, it's unbelievable. It's kind of cast, you can kind of, I don't know if you can see that, but I can see it. Wee bits are kind of falling off, but I think probably once it's been washed, it should be fine, hopefully. So next up I've got these, honestly, I cannot believe these trousers, wait till you see them. So I never thought in my whole life I would ever wear like wide leg or even more than like a mum jean or whatever. But when I see these are like the most flattering kind of jean trouser things I've ever seen in my life, like honestly, they're amazing and they're 12 and 9. So obviously I had to buy like three colours because um, so I actually, I kind of wanted, I wanted the cream ones when I first seen them and then I ended up ordering them, they weren't in my size. So I ordered them, which I've, I've never really bought H&M stuff like on the bottom I don't think, like not on like years anyway. So I wasn't really sure what, oh I just kicked my ring light, sorry. <coughs> sorry. Maybe if I stop talking so fast eh. Um, yeah, so I wanted the beige originally when I seen them like last week, but they weren't in my size. So I ended up just buying the lilac in the black, which I thought lilac would be cute for spring and summer because quite unusual. 
I was kind of gonna say to neutrals, but then I seen like the lilac, and I was like, yeah, that's pretty. So yeah, that's obviously this is them off the hanger. And I was actually, I'm not gonna lie, like I was so. I think when they came, I didn't try them on for like a few hours, and I was just like, oh my god, these are never gonna fit me. Um, because when I had to compare them to like other jeans I had, I was like, oh, these are gonna be like a really small ten, but surprisingly, they fitted, and I was over them in. So this is them. Look like I'm just gonna be button detail, and yeah, I mean it's gonna be kind of hard to see now, but they're kind of they're wide leg, but they're nice and fitted like on the bum and stuff. Um, oh, by the way, I've not tried all of this stuff. One, I only tried these on because I was like, I ordered my sister them as well, and I kind of wanted to give her a heads up and if they thought they were gonna be nice or not. But for twelve ninety nine, honestly, like, can't believe it. Cannot believe how good they are for that. It's in the and they're nice. They're not like a pure rigid denim either. They're like a nice denim, which is what we're here for. But they're so honestly, like for twelve ninety nine, like I just can't, can't believe it. So yeah, got them in purple. I managed to get them in the beige that night. They came back in the sock because um, I put a wee domain on. So it's kind of like stone, I guess. I guess a kind of grey beige. I don't know. Um, yeah, again, twelve ninety nine. Can you believe that? Because I bloody can't. Just both of them. Twelve ninety nine. Shook. And then black. So yeah, this is a lilac, lilac jeans. It's kind of hard to show you like, the full length. Um, I'll insert a wee pic. Uh, but yeah, and the wee bralo, which I think is maybe slightly tight. And that's a 10, but I'm not sure. It looks nice in the um, viewfinder, but they're so, f how flat are they? Like, just so nice. And these are just 10, by the way. And they're just nice on the waist. There's a little bit of give, as you can see. Like they're so stretchy. Um, but yeah, I'm absolutely obsessed. How nice. They kind of creamy trousers. And again, I am like, I just love them so much. I can't recommend enough. They just like fit nice and they're not like that horrible tight way. Like, even though they're like fitted at the top, which you want them to be anyway, um, they're not like that horrible tight way where they feel like squish your bum down and stuff. They're just, I'm so pleasantly, surprised, so pleasantly surprised with these. It's unbelievable. Like, the reviews were good, but I didn't expect them to be like this good. Like, actually embarrassing because, yeah, I shouldn't have doubted it, I should have. So, this is the black jeans. They feel slightly tighter than the other colours, which I think you kind of find that with black jeans, but they'll probably give, they're definitely not as much stretch to them as the, eh, the cream or the lilac, but they're just still it's flattering, you probably can't see it as well, just because of black, black on black on black. Um, yeah, still really nice. Next up, we've got these just wee basics, um, just for, again, maybe under. I've kind of worn it like under jeans, not under jeans, under joggers and then under my hoodie just to kind of keep me warm because I finally listened to what my wee grand says and wearing a vest because it actually does make a, make a difference surprisingly. I feel like when I was a teenager I was just like, oh, I don't want to wear a vest and now like I can't leave the house without a vest on. Sad. Um, but yeah, so I got these wee ones which you could actually wear without like my stuff not on, without something over it I feel. But it's got the wee like lace detail which is very, you can't see it everywhere there now. How nice is that? I didn't realise it was this long though. Like it's very, I've got a really short body so it's pretty like a long line on me. But tucked into like jeans and joggers is fine. I got a medium because kind of like, I thought it might be quite tight but it's actually got loads of stretch to it. So I probably could have done with small but it doesn't matter if it's fine. So I got it in the black and I got it in the white. I don't have a price on it, so they were five ninety nine full price, which is far. It's got the wee detail again, which is just so cute. Um, yeah, so I got them in the two colours, just because you can't really go wrong with black and white, can you? And it's kind of good that it's not crop, I guess, because I can't have everything cropped. Can I? So this is just the wee black, kind of basic um, best up. Couldn't remember that word there. But as you can see, nice material is slightly, maybe, it's not too bad, but 
kind of might give but it's just good with like a wee pair of jeans um, tucked in keep you keep you warm in this lovely weather the snow's now going which is a bit sad because I do like the snow but it was her that's a nice drink um, yeah I'm apparently touching white stuff in case it's like, oh, that's got to be more color. Can you see that? Well, that's annoying. I don't I'm tired of getting dirty when it's already got a mark on it. So I went for this little kind of, what are they, like midi skirts in cream, which, what, why, why did I do this? Like this is going to get probably filthy and it's already got a mark on it and I've not even tried it on, so that's fun. Um, but I just really like them. I feel like with like a wee denim jacket and things are just really cute. Oh my god, I feel like marks all over it, that's so annoying. That is very annoying. But I'll try one anyway, because I could always order it again I guess. But I got a medium. Again, I'm just kind of paranoid about what sizes to buy and this kind of stuff. I feel like my legs, like the, my thighs and things sometimes feel like, if you want to be skinned, especially when it's that light of material. But it's quite thick, I don't feel like you be able to see if that. Let's try if try if that can feel. Mm. We'll see. But I'll try it on and I'll give the bear to them. But I'm just kind of annoyed about the. That's another mark. I feel like the ring lights aren't really doing it justice, but you can see it. You can see it. Excuse me, I was like gonna roll this up, but is this going to focus? So this is a white kind of creamy scarf. So it is. That's nice. It's just, I think it's just a bit big. It's like quite baggy here. But I do like it. So I do like it, but it's just a bit baggy, like everywhere. And I think it would probably just feels like that material would kind of stretch, like over time. So I think this will probably need to go back. Yeah, that would be cute. But yeah, it's just a bit. It just feels a bit back, and especially at the bottom. Let us see if I can see. It's just very. I don't know if it's meant to be like that. I thought it was meant to be like a tube skirt. So, so I've just got this little like, kind of bralette for going on under like, the wee cardigan and stuff. It's a stretchy. Oh, it's stretchy. Might be fine. Um, yeah, I just thought this was cute for like under like a cardigan, but it's quite nice. But it's just a wee bralette. But, yeah, but it's actually pretty stretchy. Yeah. Um, so I also got a black cardigan which is slightly different to the cream I think so it's still got the wee um, tortoise shell buttons but it's like a wee it's different in the neck so the other one's straight there but this one's got like a wee V it looks pretty much the same but this one I'm sure this one was the cheaper one which was like 17 I think without discount but yeah I got I got the two cardigans in a small I think yeah um, it's quite kind of chunky and oversized. I haven't tried on the black one yet, but it's really cute. Again, you can't really go wrong with a cardigan, I feel. But I don't know if I'm just too late to get like a black cardigan now. It's like end of, well, middle of February. I don't know. I don't really wear too much black in the like spring, summer, I don't think. But yeah, so it's such a nice thick material considering the price. It was so nice. I'm glad I finally got one. So. I think I've just got one more thing to try. Um, so yeah, I'm going to well just give you a show. How nice. Oh, oh this wee vase is from H&M. How nice. I'm going to have dropped this or something, but yeah. Cute. I'm going to get like a new table for here, but I've not quite got there yet. Yeah, just, I feel, I wanted like a slash I picked up the wee gold one I seen like in being um before Christmas but I literally picked it up and then I was like oh I don't really need to be buying this right now and now I'm like oh why did I just buy it but yeah so I think I'm gonna get like a wee gold table or something for there to sit my wee face on and yeah just have a wee little bedside kind of situation going on and I've just completely digressed
basically it's very similar cardigan but in black I get this one actually isn't as like, fluffy as the cream one and it's not got wee bits column up at all which is good um, it's such a nice thick material but it doesn't feel like I think once you're out it will keep you warm but it doesn't make you like that horrible sweaty way with it I feel like some cardigans do um, but yeah it's a really nice material like so considering like 17.99 like that's so cheap for a material considering like Topshop and stuff it was like like four pounds I feel like for a cardigan and I just love these buttons I'm just obsessed I just hate plain buttons um, yeah so I really love this as well I just tried it on quickly over these um, but it's really quite nice for like this wee you know this patchiness but yeah I quite like that idea Ooh, why has this been so successful? Yeah, successful. Yeah, I can add in stuff back, but also side note, I don't even have foundation on. That's just that Charlotte Tilbury ignore my canals, like my fake comment about Dodger. Um, yeah, that's just the flawless filter stuff. Cause I just like foundation. Obviously, I'm not really using it now. Cause at work, I've got a mask on all day, so it's completely pointless putting makeup on. But just for like at the weekends and stuff it's so nice and obviously if I'm filming anything it's just such a nice finish it actually just says, gives you like a wee bit light coverage and my skin's always been quite good I just get spots like mask spots now um, and my face being like pure a little warm under the mask but I'm really here for this cardigan and this filter so the last thing is that leather jacket which I have not bought one God, I don't know what that they're like dusty. Um, I've not bought one since I worked in Island and I got one in my disc in my last thing. And it's I've still got it but it's at my mom's. So I need to maybe get that and then save myself more money. Um but this one's is different, it's like over it's more like oversized. Why 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 the fingers? Um yeah, it's just a kinda of longer line I guess, and the other one I've got is more is cropped. But do I still have that? I'm sure I do. I better do because I really like it. Um, oh, it's a nice material actually. And it's vegan. Great. Um, I think it was actually only 40, 40 pounds for this, which is really cheap for a leather jacket, I think. But yeah, it's quite, well, it's an oversized one. Which I don't have that style, so does that mean I can keep it? I don't know. But it's honest, oh my god, it's so soft. Oh, it's got wee pockets, that's cute. Um, I got a medium because the girl on the website had on a small and she just looked very small. So I was like, I will for medium. So it's kind of more oversized and looks different to my other one. Oh, eh, but oh my god, honestly, it's so soft. I don't even see it. It's literally as soft as it looks. Like, so soft. I love this, by the way. So next, I've got the leather jacket. I can't even think what I've got on. Um, so it comes to just about mid bum on me and then I've got quite like the last little top of my hips and obviously my body's quite short. Um but yeah quite like this it's hard I can't really tell me because I'm so far away so if you find her that's my first trying on but it's a wee bit wrinkly now but that's just because it's been in a bag. It's so soft. It's actually quite nice having a wee oversized one. Obviously probably not wear this like vest but I do I'm liking this. I love it. Here for it. I just quite liking the oversized looks these days. So guys, that marks the end of today's haul. I hope you enjoyed. I really enjoy filming videos like this. It's just always kind of what I've looked at on YouTube and been like, oh, I really liked, I like, I watched, used to watch them all the time and I still do. And that's kind of what made me want to film YouTube, I guess, was hauls. So I hope you enjoy really just seasonal. Maybe the flare trousers will probably go back out, who knows. Because they're really comfy so I kind of hope they don't. Um, I hope you've enjoyed and don't forget to like and subscribe.